Hey guys, in today's video we're going to discuss how to always be able to hear yourself on stage. This is going to be mostly beneficial for singers, but it can also be beneficial for guitarists, keyboardists, violin players, whatever. For this example, I'm going to show you how to do this wirelessly, I like the setup I have here, but I will give you some cheaper options later. And also for this example, I'm going to use, uh, pretend that this is for a singer. But again, it can be applied to other instruments as well. So what we have here is we have a wireless vocal receiver, and then we have an in-ear monitor system. That's what I'm gonna use for this one. And again, I'm gonna give you some cheaper ones later. So what you're gonna do is this is the GLX system that I use. On the back here, this is the output. So this is what normally you would just go straight into here and then send this to front of house guy and he would mix it accordingly. What you're actually gonna do Almost every single in-ear monitor system is going to have two inputs. These happen to be on the front. These are the old Shure PSM 200s. Most of them are on the back now, but the same idea applies here. You're going to have two inputs. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to run your wireless mic, which has your vocals in it, or whatever instrument you're using, and you're going to run that into input one here. So let me do that. Now, ev again, most in-ear monitor systems on the back are going to have a direct out. So this. Again, you're getting your vocal signal is going in to the in-ear monitor system, and then this can go directly out to the front of house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in a cable to that one, okay? Now this red cable right here is gonna go to your front of house system. So what you've done is you've ran your vocals into your in-ear monitor system, and then this is gonna go straight out to the sound guy, to the front of house. So now, Say you need more vocals in your ears, you're just gonna turn up input one. If it's too quiet, you can get input one turned up right now. Turning this up doesn't affect the output from this channel. It's all gonna be the same volume to front of house. It's just so you can turn up your in-ears. Now what you can also do is you can get a second input right here. So you can get an actual monitor mix into this one. So say this is your vocals, and then this one is just the general mix. So instead of using a wedge, you can get a general mix here. So you can always hear your vocals by turning up right here, and then you can turn up or down the rest of the band right here. Nice and easy way just to always be able to hear yourself on stage. If you want, you could also go, you know, if you're a singer and a guitarist, you could always just do the same idea, plug in vocals here, guitar here, and then mix accordingly. That way you don't have to worry about uh, the sound guy at all. You're always in charge of your own mix. It's just an easy way to always be able to hear yourself and be able to control your own mix. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually have these already set up in a rack. So all you have to do is just give the front of house guy one cable. It'll make it really easy. All right, so here's the final product. So this is just a two-year rack from a Gator case. And here is my vocal wireless. This is the secondary one. Don't worry about that right now. Um, and actually, this is the Sennheiser in-ears that I've switched to. Part of the reason I'm doing this video is because I uh, switched over to the Sennheiser's from the PSM 200, so I had those out. Um, but anyway, so this is already connected. This is already connected in the back, and then I have that red cable uh, sticking out the back, right back here. You can see it's just sticking out the back of the rack. Just send this to front of house, and you're good to go. Um, on this one, there, you know, you don't have the, the volume control in the front, but it's actually on the belt pack. So again, just look and make sure that you're in your system and to understand how to switch between the two channels, but every single one of them should. So I hope this helped you guys out. And now for some cheaper options. Okay, so obviously a wireless system is gonna make this much more expensive. Both the in-ears and the wireless system are pretty expensive. Um, if you're a singer, I would definitely recommend going that route. That way you're not tethered, you don't have cables running to you. But if you're a keyboard player or bass player who doesn't move around a lot or whatever, you can also do this as a wired one. The cheapest one that I've found, I've personally never used it, but I've heard good things about it, is by Rolls. So this one, the PM50s, are about 45 bucks is what I found it for. So you can see here, so you're gonna go, in to the mic input and then send out mic through. And then you can mix accordingly where you have mic level and monitor level and monitor input right here where you get your signal from. So again, you can do this as a as a tethered option. Again, that's the cheaper way to do it. You still have to buy a set of in-ears, so this will probably cost you about 150 bucks versus however much it is to buy your wireless system. But I just wanted to give you guys that as an option. Obviously wired means you're going to not move around a lot, but it's up to you. Anyway, hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.